Hey viewers, I got a frame here that I don't really care about, but it's got a frozen stem in there and I decided to have a little bit of fun. I kind of want to reuse that stem in another project I'm working on. Uh, so I'm just trying to see if I can get that thing out without damaging it. So what I decided to do is just to see what happens if I use a, a cable puller to try to pull that thing out. Uh, so what I did was I took a, a piece of eight foot four by four press treated wood here and rigged up a couple bolts with a little bit of chain at each end so I can pull apart. I probably could have used like a couple trees, uh, but I don't have a couple real convenient trees that I could use and that would work to make the video and everything like that. And I kind of wanted to get this on video because I think when this thing releases, I think it's going to be kind of explosive. So we're going to see what happens. And uh, the, the uh, rope here is pretty heavy duty rope. It's rated to about 400 pounds safe working load. And so I think that might be doubled because I have it doubled up here on both sides. So 800 pounds safe working load. But then again, uh, that's like the safe part. So uh, the specs actually probably go beyond that to, uh, I don't know how much it goes up, let's say a thousand pounds. The cable puller is good up to like 4,000 pounds. And uh, we'll have to see what happens. Um, I don't know if straight pulling is gonna work. I might have to manipulate a little bit. I'm gonna try spraying some, uh, I've already sprayed some penetrating oil into the thing to try to loosen it up a little bit, but it hasn't uh, really loosened it up so much. And, uh, but we're gonna try some different things and see what happens. Okay, now I have the rope down here actually tied around the top of the fork, so it's actually going to be pulling the whole fork down and not against the frame. And up here I have it wrapped around the stem multiple times in a way that it's going to kind of be uh, tightening down on itself and then coming up here. And uh, for safety, um, because I think when this thing releases it's going to be uh, pretty explosive because it's going to be under pressure. Um, and I don't particularly want it to come flying back at me. I put some uh, cord here through the hook and through the fork and also through the uh, stem here and the uh, hook here. So hopefully that'll help prevent the uh, stem from flying back at me as I'm tightening the winch. Um, I have removed the uh, bolt here from the stem and I have already uh, lubricated the uh, stem here with some penetrating oil quite a bit and maybe that'll help loosen it up. So let's see what happens. I'm going to start tightening this winch. Okay, so the stem is kind of the little uh, adjustment there starting to let go. So I'm going to try spraying some uh, penetrating oil up here into, uh, around in through the bottom of the fork. Let's see if I can get in around there. The wedge is still in there. Okay. Let's see if I can try manipulating the uh, stem a little bit here. And so, uh, use an old handlebar here. Uh, that ain't gonna work very well. Pull this rope out of there. And I got it. Yes. All right. And that worked. All right. Yeah. And so now I can probably go ahead and reuse this on another bike. Anyway, I hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on my video. 
Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button. You'll see new videos that come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. Uh, I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I also have a web page, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, subscribe. I have my videos all categorized. I have some forums where you can ask repair questions. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.